Hey, what's going on, everyone? This is Mr. Free Coiner. I'm back at it. I just wanted to come to you and um, speak about this article that was uh, written by Mr. Omar uh, Faridi. Okay, and um, the title it says Ripple's XRP really moves really, really fast while Bitcoin, uh, while Bitcoin is breaking down, says company marketing executive. And of course, we know that XRP uh, is is a much faster um, uh, coin or, or or crypto than than BTC. I mean, Bitcoin, uh, of course, it is the the granddaddy of of all the coins. It was the first, um, but uh, it is definitely not the best technology. Um, Ethereum, even. I mean, these these two were were, were a couple of the first. Uh, the you know ones that were uh, pushed to the forefront first, uh, whereas uh, you know, XRP came in, you know, later on, and um, uh, it, but it's a, it's a newer technology. It's a better technology, uh, which makes it faster, right? Um, here it says Ripple's uh, chief marketing strategist uh, Corey Johnson recently stated in an interview with Fox Business News that XRP token that the XRP token is better technology than Bitcoin BTC. He referred to the technology behind Ripple's XRP as blockchain 2.0. Exactly, you know. The former hedge fund manager and co-host of Bloomberg West Acknowledgement, uh, Bloomberg West acknowledged that Bitcoin was a fascinating idea. However, he thinks that the flagship cryptocurrency is breaking down in terms of usability. Johnson criticized Bitcoin's slow confirmation times and said Ripple was focused on solving a business problem. Yeah, so, you know, when it comes to banks and when it comes to large institutions, when uh, they actually need the speed and uh, the liquidity that XRP provides, of course, something like Bitcoin would not be able to uh, provide the, 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 the necessities that uh, large businesses need. You know, I mean, it makes sense. And, you know, we can go on. I mean, focusing on a, on a business problem per the market strategist, the business problem, the business problem is being able to effectively move money across borders. He gave examples of how easy it has become to share ideas, messages and documents instantly because of the instrument, uh, <laughs> the Internet. However, or rather, he noted, however, that it's currently not that simple or efficient to make cross border payments. Yeah. You know, I mean. As it has been stated many times, you know, we can send an email, uh, send documents, send information much faster than we can money, you know, when it comes to sending uh, payments or, or just uh, a little bit of cash over to, or I'll, I'll say cash, but some value over to family members in a different country, you know, it, it takes forever. I mean, I've, I've experienced it. I was in... Um, I was in Africa for a little while and I was in uh, South Africa and, and I had money sent over to me. It took, I think it was five days for it to even get there. I mean, you know, in fact, uh, there were a couple times where they said, oh, I should be here tomorrow, I'll check, and it's not there. Oh, it'll be here tomorrow. You know, I mean, it's just uh, ridiculous now. This was, that was uh, some time ago. I think that was back in 2006, but still, I mean, five days, I mean, that that is just ridiculous, you know, and I needed it, you know, as soon as possible, you know, um, here, let's, let's read this by Corey Johnson. If I want to move money from New York to Mexico city, it takes five days. Yeah. That's what I just said. It costs 500 basis points. That's crazy in this era, era of technology. Now, back in 2006, you know, it's more understandable that it took that long, but now the way, uh, you know, the way, information moves the the speed which information moves at this point yeah that's just ludicrous it, it makes no sense right um uh and let's let's just take a look at this ripple is thrilled about regulations yes and and that's one thing uh that none of us really we're not none of us are happy about regulations right who wants to 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 deal with regulations? I mean, it makes it it, it it seems that anything we do, it's always oh, you know, it seems like it's a it's a it's you know somebody's trying to you know stifle the party, right? But when you li really look at it, and, and I've never been that fond of government intervention things like that, but this is a this is the thing: you have bad actors out there, 
and as long as there's nothing n nothing regulating the people that have the monopoly monopoly on things they are going to take advantage of those who do not have any control over things right and especially in this space when you're talking about money i mean there there are a million ways that uh companies or or you know large entities can steal or or just skim and we'd never know it i mean you know without regulations it makes things uh more um it makes things m more dangerous for us you know us regular people out here that are just trying to you know basically live day to day you know if there were no regulations on the banks i mean just think of the things that we'd have to deal with so um you know when you really use your common sense uh, it, you know, it's a good idea to have regulations, and I'm glad that Ripple is completely, you know, they're they're, they're completely on board with it, right? And this is, you know, one th other thing. I mean, the whole argument about uh, XRP being a security. I mean, it's it, it's a moot point. I mean, for one, it's not a security, and and you know that's the reason they're the reason why they have not, and I believe the reason why they have not. Uh, really put anything out saying whether it is or not is because they're they're you know trying to give these larger institutions time to actually get in as at a at, at this low price that it's now it is now i mean this is basically a you know like a fire sale and any of us i mean all of us out here i mean i i buy anytime i get i get the chance anytime i get I, i've already put the majority of my uh available funds uh in it and every time I get a little bit more, I'm buying XRP, you know, well, actually, actually XRP and, and Tron. And uh, I mean, I'm I'm thrilled. Uh, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm happy that things are going the way they are. Uh, I have no problem with the price being where it is because I know it's going to go up. And again, you know, when you think about it, when you use your common sense, you know, with Ripple having all the contracts that it already has, you know it's not going to disappear. You know it's just this: the price is being suppressed right now uh, through um, manipulation. You know, I mean, just like Bitcoin was, but soon enough it will. Uh, once these institutions pile in, it's going to be crazy, and I definitely think it is. It is not outside the realm of possibility for uh, XRP to actually make it to a hundred dollars this year by the end of the year. I have no doubts that it could uh, it, it you know it, it may not you know it depends on how much money actually comes into the space who knows I can't tell you yes or no I can't no one can no one can <laughs> no one can can uh, predict whether you know XRP is going to be ten dollars or five hundred and ten dollars who knows all we know is that uh, the crypto uh, space is highly volatile and it is in its infancy. There aren't any huge uh, uh, entities that have uh, jumped into the space. You know, we're talking about people and, and institutions with uh, huge amounts of money, millions, hundreds of millions of dollars. You know, and once that once they do jump in, hey, who knows what can happen? All I can say is hold on to your crypto, you know, hold on to it. That's all. That's all we have to do. Keep your, you know, keep strong hands. Hold on to your crypto, and and you know, always have common sense thoughts. Just do that. You'll be okay. We'll all be okay. You know, I'm gonna continue to put out uh, as many videos as I can. I mean, again, I really hope that uh, this is inspiration to anyone who listens. I mean, if you. If, if you know we all get that get to the point where you know you're not sure things like that and you get kind of kind of squeamish but look there are many of us who are going through the same thing and uh, hey if I can help you uh, get a little bit uh, a little bit of strength in in your decision hey I'm, I'm willing to do that and again I'm not a financial advisor and uh, I wouldn't suggest that you buy or sell any crypto based on what I'm saying these are my opinions but as you know uh, on the other hand hey, whatever it is whatever you do decide I hope I am you know I'm able to 
contribute some um, some strength to your hands <laughs> we'll say you know give you some you know give you some courage and and just res resolve and whatever decision you make it's 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 going to be the best decision for you whatever it might be the outcome may not be uh, may or may not be what you want but the fact of the matter is your decision at the end of the day is your decision so that's all I have to say today um, thank you for listening uh, definitely if you have not done so please uh, go ahead and hit that thumbs up and subscribe and also hit that little bell uh, so you know when when I put up another video uh, if you have anything to say please comment let me know what you're thinking I definitely appreciate your time and this is Mr. Free Coiner coming back at you take care of yourself